Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and I'm outside Wiley Park Station, which now has two new lift shafts. So I'm going to give you a quick update on this and then have a quick look at Punch Bowl and then finish at Bankstown. So this video is a quick update on the significant changes that have happened at these three stations in just a few weeks. At Wiley Park, the lift shafts for both platforms have now been installed. The one on the right is for the Bankstown platform, that's platform two, and the one on the left, that's for the Citybound platform, which is platform one. Here is a closer view of the platform one lift shaft and the construction of the lift entrance at platform level. The design is similar to the lift shafts currently being installed at Redfern Station. They are predominantly glass with a painted metal frame. The platform entrance is now appearing. And here is a closer view of this lift entrance on platform one. You can see the cables and other lift components beginning to appear. The entrance to the existing aerial concourse will be here on the left. Let's now take a look at the platform two lift shaft. You can see the connection to the aerial concourse here. And this is how this entrance currently looks from the concourse. Being glass means great views of the platforms below. The platform entrance will be here. These lift shafts were pre-assembled at another location and were probably installed during a recent weekend track possession. These glass lifts seem to blend in quite nicely with the original heritage booking office behind it. Here are a couple more views of both lift shafts. This one is taken from the platform two ramp and this one is taken from the platform one ramp. Now let's take a look at Punchbowl Station. This is the front of the services building, which seems to be coming along nicely. This is viewed from Yurunga Parade. From the track side, you can only see the rear of the building, which looks quite boring. Work continues with the new aerial concourse bridge. On the boulevard side, you can see these bridge supporting walls now appearing. The same brick supporting walls are appearing on the island platform as well. I originally thought the lift was going to be where these supporting walls are now appearing. It's actually going to be slightly further west along the platform, around about here. Here is how this supporting wall is looking from the other side. Next up is a quick look at the work to construct this traction substation, followed by the Sydney Metro work on the approach to Bankstown station. This is on a train going towards Bankstown. You can see lots of materials for the construction of this substation, along with the beginnings of a retaining wall. Now for some slowed down footage of the Sydney Metro work on the approach to Bankstown station. Now going over the West Terrace Bridge. This looks like one of the future platforms, and to the left of it is the future services building. There are a couple of holes in the ground here. These could be to support the future station buildings. And here you can see the retaining wall and concrete supports for the rest of the platform. and some mesh rebar towards the end of the future platform. This will be one of two side platforms that will be used when Sydney Metro trains terminate here. There will be another side platform on the other side of the tracks. Work to create this has not yet started. Here is a view from the train in the other direction, so leaving Bankstown and going towards Punchbowl. You can see here how the metal supports for the platform are attached to the concrete supports and the wall behind it. You can also see the side wall for the future services building. So that's the end of this little mini update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Do leave a comment or question below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And do check out my perks on Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.